think. Moving into the tropics, there are a couple of spots to watch. Now, something interesting, this wave invest 91 that we've been watching and not looking like a threat for us, but we've just been watching it since it looks like it's moving into the Caribbean eventually. Its chance for development actually went down. So something to think about with this models have not been very aggressive with developing it. I'll show you more in a second. This one, this wave closer to Africa is taking this more northwest movement. This one has a higher chance of development. The next name on the list, Julia and then Carl. So this one might actually become a depression or maybe tropical storm Julia, but it will have some upper level winds that will probably make it pretty short lived, not expected to be a long lasting system and staying out over water. Now here is Invest 91L and note our upper pattern, the GFS and the Euro showing some development toward the end of the time period here. This is by October 9th. Note also the very south movement or south kind of area in the Caribbean Sea that this will be taking a more southerly track. And as we look at the computer models, many of them are agreeing and a lot of them actually keeping it weaker than what you saw with the European and the GFS. So we're not sure whether this will actually develop. It has a low chance in the next five days, but it does look like it will be moving that way. And something for us to think about, we are expecting next week a big blocking high over the Gulf and into the Northern Caribbean. That's why it would take that more westerly route. So at this point, we still have no tropical threats, maybe Central America by the end of uh, well into next week, but not looking for that anywhere near us. Our seven day forecast shows the warm up and then the beautiful weekend ahead.